Also developing tonight, an 11 year old is accused of making a fake call about an active shooter. And that's why Horizon Academy in Marion Oaks was on lockdown on Tuesday. Fox 35's Marie Edinger joins us live from there tonight. So Marie, the sheriff is fuming about why the boy reportedly did it. Right, and he says that's because of the fear it caused. I talked with a couple people as they were leaving the school today. One man told me he was really happy with the thorough response from the sheriff's office. I also talked with a woman who says she has that 11 year old as a student. She says her classroom was evacuated. She says she had SWAT members pointing guns at her. And even after everything was said and done and she knew everyone was OK, she says that fear still lingers. This was the scene at Horizon Academy in Marion Oaks Tuesday. That's after deputies got this 911 call. 911, what's the address of the emergency? Help, there's a school shooter walking through, through the hallway. What school? Uh, Marion Oaks. What hallway are you in? Building 2. Marion Oaks Elementary or Marion Oaks High School? Hall? Hello, can you hear me? Marion, which school? Marion Oaks Elementary? Elementary? The Marion County Sheriff's Office says they dedicated everything they could to locking down the school and making sure everyone was safe. These are our children. These are our future. And we're under the belief that someone is in there trying to harm them. But the Sheriff's Office says that call turned out to be a hoax. After some investigation, detectives learned an 11 year old boy used his friend's phone to call in a fake threat because he didn't want to be at school that day. The sheriff's office isn't taking this lightly. He now has felony charges. The preteen is now facing charges for making a false report of a mass shooting, using a two way communication device to facilitate a felony, disruption of a school function, and misuse of a 911 emergency system. The sheriff's office says they want everyone to understand pranks like this are nothing to laugh about. It is devastating to the families that are finding out that that there's a school shooter, that to the children thinking there's a school shooter, to the staff thinking there's a school shooter, when in reality, there was nothing going on other than an 11-year-old making a hoax phone call. The sheriff's office told me the response this took, including sending out SWAT, calling in help from the mayor, uh, the Ocala Police Department, excuse me, also sending out every single canine officer available and calling in air support. All of that is not cheap. And they said that 11-year-old is going to have to foot the bill. Live in Marion Oaks, Marie Edinger, Fox 35 News.